is a greeting. This is to tell all of you that you are all welcome into our circle today. You are standing in the presence of the circle of life. Everyone here that's breathing the universe air, that's standing on the nature garden. Everyone here. Everyone here today should be in responsibility to the first root, which is the children. So we're here today celebrating the hundreds of the first fruit. Not us, not you, not all the things that you possess, not any of that stuff. We are basically here for the gift of the children. Because without the children, not one of us are going to grow. It's like the tree that's planted by the river. And the word says in the African village, I shall not be moved. You have to understand. I see. You have to understand this is all about the children today. I am sacred grill grandmother Edna. They spell my name G R I O 2. That's the American word, but the African, the ancestors were called griots because they threw out their breath and it kept going and it never stopped. So this morning. We're going to pay homage to the scouts. The scouts in the village were the drummers. They were the first people taken aboard the slave ship because they sat in the top of the trees. And they drummed to let the people in the village get a chance to run because the ghost was coming. They were the first people captured. The drum was the first instrument belonging to our people that shattered and hit the earth. So we all going to stand in attendance we will not do a pledge of allegiance out here, but the only pledge of allegiance that we're going to have out here is to the most high. I see. Anybody's culture. So we're going to pay hundreds this morning, and we're going to let the drama set the mood for everybody to do whatever a body must do. Yes, drama. for the African people. I'm touring the country, doing a project for peace. So I'm telling people to sow your emotions. A lot of people don't want to march. A lot of people don't scream out. But our ancestors sold their emotions on quilts. So this quilt has traveled the country. This is the all-girl poetry club at Mount Royal Middle School. This is from the Storytelling Village at the Waxer Center. This is from a famous jazz singer, Mama B.B. Fatima. On this table that they will be showing on today, this quote has signatures from Virginia, South Carolina, and Maryland. This quote started at Artscape 2016. So today you're in a tent. Well, we're going to story tell to the children, and we're going to ask their parents to come at their own leisure and so take an image that's already cut. My images are already cut. All they have to do is pick them up, lay them on the quilt, stick pin the image on the quilt, thread everything that sold the image. So I'm so glad to have you do this because it's important, and then the children will sit here on my storytelling blanket, and you can see it's a storytelling blanket. 
and they will hear stories. And then we're going to have we are, the real groom's coming at 2 o'clock, and she's going to set the children probably around this in a circle, and she's going to do a circle of peace. So we're in the middle because storytellers real out of nothing in both of the villains. And I often tell people real quick is that if we don't stand up, we can't help our children because in reality, a broken vase cannot carry water back to the village. I thank you so much. Shante Sa. And to the people of the earth, let the babies grow up free and strong with minds of peace and happiness in love. Watch this with sign language. Peace and joy upon the earth and to the people of the earth. Let the babies grow up free and strong with minds of peace and happiness in love. Okay, I want you to repeat after me and use your hands. I'll go first. Peace and joy upon the earth. Now you. Good. And to the people of the earth, let the babies grow up free and strong. Let the babies grow up free and strong. With minds of peace and happiness. In love. Can you all see me over there? Okay. You just learned sign language. What's this the sign for? Babies. Babies. What's this one? People. People. What's this one? Happiness. Happiness. What's this? Mine. Mine. What's this one? Grow. Grow up. It's a little seed. It grows up to a flower. What's this one? Strong. Good. What's this one? Peace. Peace. And what's this? Love. Love. Okay, here we go. Let's do it all together at the same time. Everybody, hands and voice. Here we go. Peace and joy upon the earth and to the people of the earth. Let the babies grow up free and strong with minds of peace and happiness. In love. <laughs> Give yourself some snacks. Yeah. You want a pencil? I got a pen. Is, will that be okay? What are you right. saying? Thank you. You're welcome. You bring it right back, okay? <laughs> All right, so this is Organization of Hope. Uh, what I like to say that we are an organization that helps people navigate uh, through life's interruptions and disruptions. We provide a plethora of services which include scholarships, not only just for students, but for substance alcohol abuse, um, homeless veterans, those who are in, in need of um, continuous educational support. Um, we have assisted living facilities to include transitional housing, which starts with the emergency housing, transitional, and then we also help people um, with home ownership. So we actually do rent to own so people can get a piece of the hot pie and something that they own. And also what we do, we do business incubators. We teach people how to start organizations or those who have organizations are struggling or want some executive advisory support, we provide that as well. So we provide a lot of wraparound services for a lot of people. Um, um, what? Oh, what was that? What? Oh, okay. So, th thank you for visiting Organization of Hope, and you can definitely thank you very much. You can visit us on the website at www.organizationofhope.org or contact us at 443-653-8227. My name is Dr. Patricia Williams. I'm the Executive Director and Founder of Organization of Hope. We hope to see you soon.
Thank you.